Hey, I'm going to talk today about a type of statistical test that um, might be used in a field ecology experiment um, that where you have observations that are of a before and after nature. And this can happen in um, uh, studies where you are actually doing a manipulation. An example um, that's fairly common in some bird related projects might be that somebody's looking at the effect of anthropogenic noise on the responses of birds. They go in, they survey birds, and then they um, broadcast some anthropogenic noise and then look at the response. And so they're at a single point and they're having a before and after comparison. Um, there are lots of other kinds of um, experiments that you can do with, that have this kind of design. And this is how you would test one of those, how you would set up a, um, this kind of a test in jump. And so I have some data in jump with um, my sample numbers. Um, I have several sites you can block by site or not. It really just depends. And then you have your samples here with before and after measurements. This can be anything that you're looking at as a response variable. It's always important in jump to double check and make sure that all your variables are, are correctly coded as the right type of data and mine are. And so to run this, this is actually an example where you're going to do something that's called a matched pairs t-test or paired t-test, where you're actually, instead of making two means of your data sets, you're actually subtracting your after measurement from your before measurement and looking to see how different that, that change is from zero. Okay, and you do this by hitting the analyze menu and instead of doing fit X by Y or Y by X, you actually go down to this option for specialized modeling and you select matched pairs. And you then um, enter your paired Y response variables, so your before and your after measurement. Um, and it does not matter in this case which one is first and which one is second, sometimes setting them in a set um, um, Configuration can help you interpret the data, but it really makes no difference. And then you might have a grouping vari variable. So I could say I'm looking at this effect by some different habitat sites or something. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna set it as a before and an after because it's simpler to interpret the results this way. You click OK, and you will get this output menu um, with this funny diamond diagram. And so you, this is a matched pairs t-test that is being um, demonstrated right here. And um, some things to notice. So your, this graph is showing us on the x-axis, it's the mean of the after measurement plus the before measurement divided by two. And so basically they're subtracting um, the before from the after getting that mean value and dividing it by two, okay? And this was our mean. This red line is indicating our mean, okay? Um, and then here is the difference, the after measurement minus the before measurement. And so this is showing us mapping out the difference between the before and after measurements with the null hypothesis being zero, that there's no difference than when you subtract the before from the after, you're gonna get a, a uh, result of zero. And as you can see, most of these lines are clustering all above zero, okay? And um, it's showing you this mean difference right here with the red line, okay? And then in terms of your output, you get some basic descriptions of the data. Um, these are your, your this is your af average after measurement, your average before measurement. This is the mean difference between the measurements and the standard error and confidence intervals. Um, in this case, it's showing us our sample size. And the thing that you wanna look at is your probability value. For t-tests, we tend to look at the two-tailed t-test. And in this case, the probability is very small. And so that means the probability that there's no difference between these before and after effects is really tiny. And that's doing a matched pairs t-test in jump. 